What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, super excited to bring you guys something insanely broken. We are trying to put Technician on Earth's route making Surgeon Strikes 90 base power. I know it sounds crazy, but hear me out. Smeargle learns Technician as an ability and it learns Skill Swap. So we can then use Skill Swap onto Earth's route, passing Technician onto Earth's route, making Surgeon Strikes 90 base power. Sounds good, right? It definitely does sound good. As Surgeon Strikes, already broken as it is, add another 50% damage boost to it, which we're going to be doing today. It's going to be crazy. It is going to be absolutely broken, right? It's going to be broken. Let me switch. What's going on, YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're trying something absolutely broken. We are using a Technician Urshifu team. I know that sounds weird, but hear me out. We got Smeargle over here in the top left hand corner with Technician as its ability. And we got Skill Swap. So if we use Skill Swap onto our Urshifu, we can then pass Technician onto Urshifu, giving Surgeon Strikes a 50% damage boost. Because you guys do not know, the ability Technician boosts moves that are power of 60 or below by 50%. So Surgeon Strikes is base 60, giving it a 50% boost with the ability Technician, making it 90 base power. So we're trying out this combo, hope we get to pull it off and have Surgeon Strikes ripping in today's video. But Smeargle's got the Focus Sash, it's got Spore, Follow Me, and Spiky Shield, so we can also put Pokemon to sleep and redirect shots with Follow Me. Our move moveset is pretty standard with Surgeon Strikes, Close Combat, Aqua Jet, and Detect. Then the other four Pokemon on today's team are going to be Tornadus and Incineroar for support. We got Speed Control and Weather Control. On top of that, Incineroar controls pretty much all attacking stats with Parting Shot and Intimidate. And then our last two is going to be Serena over here, big time physical attacker, who stops first turn priority and backs Calibur with the Loaded Dice. We love Loaded Dice backs Calibur, such a strong Pokemon. But if you guys want to try this team for yourself, rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on, on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match, showcasing Technician Urshifu. First match coming at you guys, and we are going up against a complete counter to our team. Kind of annoying, not going to lie. We're going up against a Galarian Weezing, not a Galarian Weezing, a regular Weezing and Slacking team. So Weezing has neutralizing gas, taking away all abilities. So you know what? We might just not even go into Technician Smear. It's a little bit of a problem. You know what? Screw it. We're going to try it. We are going to try it. If they want to go into Slacking, we have a great Pokemon to actually counter that. We can go for Follow Me. We can go into Surgeon Strikes. We can go into Close Combat. We're going to try it. We're going to try it. If we can't pull it off, we can't pull it off. No big deal. We have battle number two and battle number three to actually try that. But on top of that, they got Urshfu. They also have, well, not Urshfu. They have Ursa Luna. And they also have Cresselia. So Tricking users could be a little bit of a pain in the neck. But I do like Bax Calibur here, especially with the Fairy Terror type. Works out well for us. So I'm going to go into that. And last but not least, I could go Incineroar. But I think I'm going to go Serena over here. Especially because they do have Dragonite. They do have Dragonite, we can stop first turn priority, and we have an ice move on that Pokemon. So cool. Looking to get after it. Hopefully they don't lead the Weezing, but chances are it's gonna be Weezing Slack, right? All day long. All day long. And if it's not, I'm technician. I'm going for a skill swap. I'm going for the skill swap. Be massive. But yeah, it's definitely Weezing, right? Yeah, all day. All day. So we don't have abilities right now. No technician, no unseen fist. Um I could terrestrialize. The what's it called? I could terrestrialize here, but I think I'm just going to go for a spore here and just detect the Urshifu. Let's be honest here. Let's just detect the Urshifu. Try to put the slack in the sleep. If I could put slack in sleep and then just start getting after Weezing, that could be pretty good. That could definitely be pretty good. So Surgeon Strike is still going to be able to hit hard here. We just can't hit through Protects right now. We just can't hit through Protects. I'm going for the spore. Weezing might protect here. A lot of Weezings will just protect. And he's going to go for a Terrasalization onto Slacking, if I had to guess. Into Fairy. Into Fairy. Correct. So maybe he's going for a Play Rough here. Maybe he's looking to go for a Stab Play Rough, which would be beautiful. Not a Stab Play Rough, a Terra Play Rough. Into my Urshfu. That would be nice, because we're detecting the shot. If we detect there, we're going to end up Sporny. We say Night Night. Get on out here. And we'll see what Weezing wants to do here. We shall see what Weezing wants to do here. Slacking is slump. So that's one turn for that thing to be asleep. That's pretty massive for us. And Willow is going to come across here and get blocked. It's going to get blocked. So from here, um, we're not really worried about getting this Technician ability set up. I think our best bet would just be to go for a Follow Me here. And maybe just start Surgeon Strikes this thing. 
Yeah. I don't think you protect this turn. You might actually. That'd be rather annoying if you protect this turn. I'm looking to just get off as much damage as we can, to be honest. I want this thing off the field. I want it off the field. But I could play it smart and go after slapping, but I believe it to be asleep at least one more turn, which would be nice. That's at least one more turn. So no protect from Weezing, we're really hoping. And we're hoping Slacking's asleep for one more turn. That would be best best case scenario. Best case scenario. Because we're going for the follow me here because we think Slacking, or Weezing at least, is going to go for an attacking move. Or a will o -Wisp. So we go for the follow me. And cool. He's not protecting. That's massive. So we get crit. We get a crit all three times. And we put it below half health, which is really nice. Really nice. Another Surgeon Strike should KO. And he's going to get some Black Sludge this turn. The chance are you go for another Will O Wisp, and you're asleep. It's huge. The chances are, yeah, I was gonna say you go for another Will O Wisp. But I'm gonna say that you probably protect this turn. Just to get some more black sludge. And to be honest, we just go for a follow me here again. So I'm gonna go for a follow me. I'm gonna certain strikes into the slacking slot. Because I believe Weezing to be protecting this turn. Trying to get some more black sludge HP and not die out to surging strikes. Right, makes the most sense. So this combo is hard for us actually to pull off, especially in this battle. This battle, we're just playing it slow. We're probably not going to pull it off in this battle, but at least we're getting some value out of our Pokemon. There's the Protect from Weezing. Big time read from, from us. And we go for a Follow Me just in case this Slacking does wake up. If it does end up waking up, we don't have to take a play rough from it. Especially in the Urshifu, which is good. So we're just going to keep chipping away some damage with Surging Strikes. Surgeon Strike's doing half? It does do half. That's beautiful. Now, are you asleep or are you waking up? That's the real question. You are going to wake up here. So, he's going to wake up here. He's going to go for a Terror Blast. And this is exactly why we went for the follow me. Smeargle should be able to soak it. I do have Focus Ash as well. So, now the play here is going to be hoping to KO the Weezing with Surging Strikes. It's going to be close. I'm going to hope to KO the Weezing with Surging Strikes. And I'm just going to spore this thing again. I'm gonna be annoying. I'm gonna be annoying. So, I'm gonna go for Surgeon Strikes. I could Terra Water. Just to make sure it cares. That's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna Terra Water. We have to make sure this cares. I know it did half last time, a little bit over half, but you never know. I just like the Water Terror type. Play it safe. Because if I can KO Weezing here, put Slacking to sleep, we have a hot shot at just like throwing a Technician onto this guy. This matchup. It ends up withdrawing that Pokemon. Okay. So you withdraw. What are you going into is the real question. you have any grass types? Ogre Pond. Makes sense. We're going to the water terror type, which kind of sucks. This thing is looking rather annoying. Because we can't use our technician moves anymore. <laughs> or we can't go for this technician play anymore with the water absorb. Luckily, we didn't double down into Ogre Pond. That could have been a little bit of a problem. Spore's going to come out of here. Not affect... The Ogre Pond, and we're gonna get rid of the Weezing, which is good. The Weezing's a goner. Weezing's gone. Weezing is gone. And yeah, we really didn't need the Terror there. Let's be honest here. It was just a precautionary thing, but I wasn't really expecting them to swap out Slacking. So at least we got rid of Weezing. Slacking has Truant now, which is a terrible ability. It's only good with Weezing, so I kind of take Slacking out of the mix a little bit. Only hitting every other turn. So here is Ogre Pond, and they're going to go into, back into Slacking here. Back into Slacking, and I think our play here is just going to be maybe Spike Shield. I could go for a skill swap, even though you're probably going to KO him. You're KOing one of them. Maybe you Spike Shield here. I say we just play it safe. I say we just, I say we just go for the win this match, not trying to pull off the combo, and we just go Surging Strikes, follow me here. Definitely your best bet. Definitely your best bet. Because she can be going for Horn Leech into my Urshfu. I really don't want to lose Urshfu right now. Luckily, you didn't go for Follow Me. But I, I didn't expect him to go for Follow Me. Let's be honest here. He's attacking one of my Pokemon. So, we're going to take out the Slacking here. I really want to go for Skill Swap more than anything. But now wasn't the time. But I get rid of Slacking. He's going to get rid of my Smeargle. And now I can bring out... What should I bring out here? I could bring out Serene if I want to. I could bring out Bex Calibur. I don't have Terra, which is uh, it just sucks, man. It just sucks that we don't have Terra. But our best bet would probably be Serene with Shropkick. 
Or I could go Loaded Dice Back Excalibur with Icicle Spear or Scale Shot. Not bad for us. Not bad for us. Hmm. Who would I rather bring out here? Who would I rather bring out here? Because I don't know your final Pokemon. Man. I don't know. I really don't know. But I'm just going to go in the screen. I'm just going to go in the screen. Just in case it's Dragonite in the back end with E-Speed. We can kind of take that off the field. So I go on the screen and let's see who it is. Who you got cooking? It is Dragonite. Good call from us. No E speeds allowed here. Um, we could attack the Dragonite. I think it's gonna high chance of terrestrializing, and I'm just gonna Trap Kick on top of a close combat here, just in case he goes for a follow of me. We just get right after this Urshifu. Well, not Urshifu, Ogre Pond. Because Ogre Pond's the main threat here. It really is. We have Back Calibur in the back end, who I really like. I am scared of uh, Dragonite though, with like Outrage, all that good stuff. Could be Choice Bandit. The close combat's gonna fly here. How much damage are we doing? Big time damage. And they don't have Terra. Why, why, do, why do I keep thinking they have Terra? They used it on the, the other Pokemon. But Hornleech gonna finish this off. Can Trop kick KO? Hornleech doing us dirty. Oh, ouch. Ouch, we should've just attacked it that turn. That was a pretty simple detect too. Oh, this could be bad. We might've just screwed up by not detecting there. We might've screwed up. This Trop kick, does this KO? It doesn't. We get a crit too. We do get an attack drop, which is beautiful, but an aerial ace? Yeah, I was gonna say, aerial ace coming through here. Oh, that KOs. That hurts, man. That hurts. That hurts. Hopefully, you're choice in aerial ace. Is it for choice in aerial ace? We have a hot shot at winning this match. I got ice shard. I got ice spear. That thing's attack drop. The back's caliber out on the field. Oh, we might lose this one. Hopefully, your choice ban into aerial ace. I really hope so, because I'm just gonna go for an icicle spear and try to KO you. That's going to be my play. Ogre Pond has an attack drop, which is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. But if you're choice in Aerial Ace, it's pretty good for us. That's pretty good for us. Play Rough. You got Play Rough? At least we're soaking pretty well. And Bax Calibur out speeds. That's massive. That is massive because that Play Rough did not have her HP. That Play Rough did not have her HP. So that is huge. That is huge. Making me think that this Play Rough should not KO us. We should survive it. We should survive it. And then we should just be able to go for another Icicle Spirit and finish this one off. Max Caliber clutching up. Actually, to be honest, the attack drop was clutching up. He just goes for a spiky shield. Good thing this move doesn't make contact. Cool. So I won't take spiky shield damage here because it's Icicle Spirit Sonic. It's a non-contact move. And I can just send another one. I can just send another one. The player off coming out here, and yep, we survive on four. Thank you, attack drop. Beautiful. So, we must through this matchup, but it's all good. We come out on top. Big time attack drop from Trap Kick. We start off 1 0. Moving on to our second match, going up against an Incineroar and Rillaboom team, which is rather annoying for the combo we are trying to pull. This combo is tough to pull up, so we're going to try yet again to do it here. Going to go Smeargle, going to go Urshfu, but I wonder who they're going to leave. I'm kind of hoping Incineroar comes out here, to be honest, because then I could just Terrestrialize Smeargle into Ghost and get after it that way. But um, I don't know who they're going to leave. They also have Urshfu. They have Landers in their incarnate form. They have Raging Bolt. A lot of annoying Pokemon for Urshfu. It really is. So, um, I like that. I do like Incineroar here in the back end. And last but not least, probably Baxcalibur. I do like Baxcalibur a lot here. So, that's going to be the play. That is going to be the play. So, let's see how who they end up going into here. I maybe should have. I should have went, what's it called, to be honest. Serene over Baxcalibur. Looking at it now. But, hey, I'm hoping to pull off this Technician combo. But, dude, it's tough. It's tough combo to pull off. We almost had it in the last match, but wheezing and uh, slacking were on the field a bit too long. So we just chose to win the match instead. But they end up going Shen Pao and Incineroar, which is fine. They're going to intimidate me. They could fake out the Smeargle. They could double down into the Smeargle, which could be a little bit of an issue. Could definitely be a little bit of an issue. So there's that. I am going to Terrasize Smeargle into Ghost, because I feel like they think Smeargle's the problem. So I'm going to Terrasize Smeargle into Ghost. I'm going to go here and... On top of that, I'm just going to go for a Surgeon Strike into Shen Pao. Or Incineroar. Hmm. I think I just go after Incineroar. Now we're going to go after Shen Pao. I don't like dealing with Shen Pao's, man. 
So there's our terror going into Ghost, trying to dodge Fake Out. If they want to Fake Out Urshifu, that's fine, because chances are Sacred Swords flying from Shen Pao into the Smeargle. That'd be awesome. Fake Out and a Sacred Sword into Smeargle. That'd be massive. And then we get the skill swap going. Fake Out going to go into Urshifu. That's fine. And there's the Sacred Sword into that. So we still have Focus Ash, which is good. And we get the Technician here. We get the Technician. Making Smeargle hit through Protects now. We like that. We like that. So if I look at it this way, you got Technician. We love that. <laughs> we love that. We love that. So from here, we're just going to go for a simple follow me play. And just go for a Surgeon Strikes into Shen Pao. We can't hit through Protect anymore, but we can still hit like a truck. So who do I go after here? Do I take out the, Ursa, the Sen, Shen Pao or Incineroar? I think we just take out the Incineroar here. The Shen Pao could protect. It could definitely protect. So Alchemist follow me. Sacred Sword still flying. Still flying. And now Surgeon Strike's Technician Boost is just pretty much one-shotting Incineroar. You can have Citrus Berry. You can have Citrus Berry. Technician Urshifu. 90 base power surging strikes hitting three times. Oh my lord. Almost one shot it in Incineroar. That is absurd. That is absurd. So Shen Pao sitting here at full HP. Still has Focus Ash. We could start sporing if we want to. They're going to bring out Urshifu. They're going to bring out Urshifu. Probably look to go for a surging strikes. It's probably their best bet. And I think we just protect our Smeargle here. And we just go for Surging Strikes into this slot. Take out the Shen Pao. Yeah, if they take out Smeargle, they take out Smeargle. I think Follow Me turns are our best bet. We're going to see a Terra pop out here. Probably from their Urshifu, right? Yeah, Urshifu's going to get the Water Terra. That's totally fine. Shen Pao should outspeed unless this thing is Choice Scarf. Which I'm hoping it's not. Because I would love for Shen Pao to go first here. The follow me comes out here again. We got the technician boost. Looking just to dump on Shen Pao here. Surgeon Strikes. Of course. Of course you are. Choice Scarf. So this thing's going to be Choice Scarf. It has a lot of speed cooking. <clears throat> and from here, next time I could just bring out Incineroar. Just to fake out and all that good stuff. That's probably our best bet. But we're hoping. We're really hoping here that I can eat up whatever shot that this Shen Pao has to offer. I believe it's going for Sacred Sword. It's been going for Sacred Sword. And if it is, we should be able to get that up. Yeah, Sacred Sword, we soak that. We soak that all day. So Surgeon Strike's gonna fly here. I'm gonna say bye bye to you. Look how much damage that does. Look how much damage it does. It's just absurd. We don't even need a third hit. We don't even need a third hit. So I wish I would have brought Serene here. <clears throat> Serene would have been so perfect. Would have been so perfect over. Over what's it called? Over Baxcalibur. <clears throat> but now I get to bring out Incineroar. I get to intimidate. I have the fake out option here as well. So let's just see what they do, because I would love to fake out Urshifu and then take out whatever Pokemon they have on this left side, but it really depends what they brought. It really depends. It's going to be Landris. It's going to be Lando. The Lando coming out here. I think we just want to fake out the Lando here. In all honesty, do we just fake out the Lando? Do we go for the fake out takeout on the Lando? I know your choice. I know he is choice here. I know your choice. So I could fake out you and go after Lando. But the question is, do you outspeed Lando? I don't think you do. That's the real problem. Yeah, I don't think you do. Which is the issue. So I'm thinking we go here. And then we double down into Lando. I think that's our best bet. And the reason I say that, you could protect. You could protect. I don't have Unseen Fist. But I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Cool, he doesn't protect. Because I think this Urshifu goes for Surgeon Strikes into Incineroar, right? No, you go after my Urshifu. Can you soak? I don't think you soak. No, you're not going to soak. Can you survive on one? You don't. I was going to say, man. It was kind of a tough situation we were kind of put in there. Because if I fake out the Urshifu, then Lando outspeeds me. And he probably KOs my Urshifu regardless. Right? That's a tough position we sit in. It's a real tough. But still, we got off the technician combo. Worked out pretty well. We're just not going to be able to win this match. We're just not going to be able to win this match. So from here, um, 
Aqua off maybe, take off Mystic Water. I mean, you're just gonna close combat. Actually, no, you're just gonna Surgeon Strikes me. And then he's gonna go for a ground move. Tough news. I could go for Ice Shark. Do we think Ice Shark could KO? Has a chance. Has a chance. We're gonna go for it. We're definitely going for it. We are definitely going for it. He's choice into that Surgeon Strike. So if Ice Shark can KO, that'd be massive. That'd be massive. But yeah, having Serene here would have been great. Would have been awesome. Would have been awesome. But Ice Shark's gonna fire as a KO. It does. Back to Cal. We're picking up a KO. Hold up. We still in this match. Surgeon Strike's gonna KO my Incineroar. We already know this. Now it turns into a 2v1. Oh, not a 2v1. A 1v1. A 1v1. I do have Citrus Berry, but we're not surviving. We're not surviving. We still have to survive two more of those. Not happening. <laughs> it's just not happening. So much damage coming out here. Look at that. Look how much damage that does, especially with Terra. Absurd. Absurd. But my whole thought process was with the fake out. If I fake out the Incineroar, Lando outspeeds my my Urshifu. Which I mean I could have went for an Aqua Jet, but I don't think Aqua Jet KO. I don't. But now it's a 1v1. I go for some scale shots. It's gonna lower my defense stat, which kinda sucks. But I kinda have to do this, right? I kinda have to do this. So there's certain strikes. How much damage is this doing? It shouldn't do half. It is actually gonna do about half. We, mm. Yeah, we're gonna lose this just because of this defense drop. It's gonna be rough. We're gonna lose it because of this defense drop. This move didn't go for defense drop. We probably would've won this scale shot. Look how much damage we get. This hits five times, it's not gonna KO. It's gonna cut it close. It's gonna cut it close. We need to hit five times though. Only hit four. I was gonna say, if it hits five times, we could potentially go for a... We could potentially go for it. What's it called? A, uh... What is it even called? An Ice Shard? But, to be honest, I don't think... Defense Drop matters here because it's a crit. I could be wrong, though. But still, we're just gonna go for another Scale Shot here. Hoping that we can eat up the Surgeon Strikes. Can Pax Calibur clutch up two matches for us? Oh, that's cutting it close. That's cutting it close. No, we lost. Are you kidding me, man? Can you survive this? No, you don't. That hurts so bad. That hurts so bad. So, such a close matchup. We do get to pull off the Technician combo. Let's go hop into our third. Look for a winning record. To be honest, I probably should have went for an Icicle Spear first. Trying to get some damage off on Urshu and then go for the Scale Shot. But, you live and you learn. You live and learn. But, we're going up against a rain team here in match number three. Might be time to bring back out Urshu and try this again. Not a bad play. You know what? Screw it. This is what this video is all about. We are one and one. We already did pull off the combo, but I would like to pull it off again. We're going up against Blastoids, probably Shell Smash Blastoids, alongside with Raichu, Pelipper, Lando, and then they got Ndidi and... What's that Pokemon called? Scizor. And Scizor. So from here, I mean, Serene's going to be great. A lot of Water-type Pokemon. We can Trap Kick up. We can really get after it. Um, Incineroar, not so great. So probably either Tornadus or Baxcalibur. And honestly, Baxcalibur has been clutching up for us. Almost clutched up in the last match. So we're going to be rocking out with it in match number three. But trying to pull off this Technician combo again. We'd love it. We'd love it. It was hitting hard. It pretty much one-shot it in Incineroar. Put it down to one HP. And then it ate a Citrus Berry just to get a snack before it died. Because then we just hit it again with our second shot. It just took it out, no problem. So let's see who they end up leading. And it's going to be Blastoids in DD, which is kind of annoying because we can't really go for skill swap. But we can go for Spore. We can start Sporing up. We can start Sporing up. And we might have to be a Spore guy here. Looking like our best bet. So I'm going to try to Spore to Blastoids. I'm just going to go for a Terra Surging Strikes here. Yeah, we want to get off as much damage as we can onto this Ndidi. I'm going to go for a Terror Surgeon Strikes. We're going to try to put Blastoids to sleep. Chances are it's going for Follow Me Shell Smash. You see that happening all day. You can see that happening all day. But if it does go for that, I still get Focus Ash, which is pretty nice for us. Real nice for us. So, yep, there's the Follow Me. Hate Ndidi, man. Screwing up all, my, all the things I want to do. We do get the Sport, though. We get to put it night-night. The so night night to Indeedy. Um, hmm. From here, Surgeon Strikes. How much damage are you going to do? I think you KO. Oh, you're close. Rocky Helmet. Really? 
Really, Rocky Helmet? We're gonna KO. But Rocky Helmet's doing insane amount of damage to this for me. Mm. Ah. Hate Rocky Helmet, man. Did we say bye bye to Indeedy? Um. I could detect this turn and put Blast Rage to sleep, which might be my best bet. Um. Indeedy's gonna faint. He's gonna go for the Smashing of Shells. Yeah. Seen that all day. I'm gonna lose to a team today. It, I, I, I would hope it'd be Blast Rage, right? I don't mind Blast Rage. The Blastoid's defense are going to drop all of his other stats, getting a plus two. He's just going to wait her up, get rid of those defense drops. And then we're going to go from there. All right. Actually, are you not white herb? You're not white herb. You are not white herb. You, sir, are not white herb. Huh. That's odd. That's real odd. But you know what? Screw it. We're going for a spore into the Blastoise, and I'm just going to detect here. I still have Focus Ash, which is neat. It is awesome. And hopefully, Pelipper or Blastoise try to go after Urshfu, right? I mean, I would. I'd probably try to throw a Hurricane in that slot. So I would love to just Focus Ash up and then put him to sleep. It'd be a big time place for us. So out comes the Terror type of Blastoise. Of Blastoise. What you got cooking? Water. Ooh. He's looking for some damage, even though he's going to do damage. <laughs> like, there's no need to terror water here. There's just no need. There really isn't. So we detect the Urshfu. We're hoping that they don't double down the Smeagol here. Water Spout. Water Spout. Please double down the Urshfu. That's scary. That is terrifying. That is terrifying. Oh my damage. Can you just outspeed Pelipper Smeargle? Do me a solid. My guy, my guy, Smeargle. Big dog, Smeargle, Smeargle. Big dog, Smeargle, Smeargle. Hurricane, gonna fly into Smeargle slot. So we don't get off the technician boost, but Smeargle is doing some work here. It is doing work. So they did double down to Smeargle. It did double down to Smeargle. Trying to bring out Serene over here. We already did use Tarot, but you should outspeed, right? What's Smeargle speed? Ooh, I don't know if you have speed Pell, but we might just want to go into Baxcalibur here. We might just want to go into Baxcalibur. What's Baxcalibur speed? It's tough, because Hurricane just rips us. You guys are both the same speed. Hmm. You know what? Screw it. We're going Serene. Hurricane's scaring me, man. It's scaring me. It is so scaring me. But I'm going to go Trap Kick here. Actually, I might just Protect. This is actually a smart play. Protect. You could be sashed. I think you're sashed instead. But we're just gonna we're just gonna go protect here because Hurricane definitely flying into the slot. We know Blastoise will be asleep this turn, and we can do some damage onto Pelipper, allowing us to actually just KO it next turn, which is pretty big for us. This thing really has water spout going crazy. So I protect the screen, predicting the Hurricane flying into the slot. Blastoise is gonna be slumped. And Surge Strike's gonna fly. So Surge Strike's not gonna KO, but we need this Pelipper to be dropping whatever. Actually, this is KOing. Wow, I wish I would've known that. I would've tropped all day. Wow, oh my god. Urshifu, stop it. <laughs> Urshifu's gotta knock it off, man. Urshifu's gotta knock it off. Gotta stop. He's gotta stop. He's gotta stop. So now we're definitely trap kicking into Blastoids. Hopefully Blastoids is still asleep for two turns. That'd be huge. And Lando's gonna fly out. Lando comes out here. Lando is in trouble. He's in trouble. He's in trouble. And if we just land this trap kick, it's game over. So I'm going to go trap kick. I am just going to go for a surge and strikes. And as long as Blastoids sleep this turn, we win. We win. Yep, there it is. Slump dog Blastoids. Get on out of here. Pretty cool combo there with the water spout. I do like it. Sansir Storm actually outs out speeds us. Never mind. It's not over. It's not over just yet. It is not over. It is not over. Chop kick flying. Should KO. Yeah, it does. I wonder what item this thing had. Mystic Water, maybe? It's looking to do a ridiculous amount of damage. But we KO the Blastoids. Turns into a 2v1 situation. And I can hit this thing with Triple Axel and KO it. Or I can go Icicle Spear. It's game set match. It's game set match. Because he's not double KO once. He's not. It's just not happening. It's just not happening. So Triple Axel, bang. Icicle Spear, bang. Both four times super effective. He goes for a Sansir Storm, and both my Pokemon soak no problem. So who's picking up the KO? It's a speed tie, so... 
Triple Axe is going to fly through here, finish this one off. So, 2 and 1 for today's video. Not bad. Got to show off Technician in battle number 2. We love it. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, Technician Urshifu in today's video. I know we didn't showcase it as much as I would like to, but at least we were able to do it in match number two. Really hard to actually pull off this combo because a lot of Pokemon or a lot of people will just start targeting down Urshifu, targeting down Smeargle. So you got to make some sort of a play to, in order to set this up. Like I said, tough, but still winning record for you guys. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.